Hello, everybody. Call Story here of FightfulBoxing.com. I'm joined on the line by CC God, Adonis Stevenson's girlfriend, to give us an update on Stevenson's condition. And for those of you who don't know, Adonis Stevenson, a former WBC light heavyweight world champion, is currently recovering from a severe traumatic brain injury suffered from his last fight on December 1st, 2018 against Alexander Vostik in Canada. And I just want to say, CC, thank you so much for taking time to talk to me. I know this must be a very trying time for you and your entire family. How are you doing? I'm okay. I'm doing better. I'm doing better. And I'm feeling really good. I'm really happy. You know, the, the the last update that was shared just a few days ago was that Adonis was transferred from Quebec City to a local hospital in Montreal. Is there, uh, I guess, any further word on how his condition currently is? Well, um, it's really difficult to see in terms of, like, his... Um, in terms of, like, what it's going to be for the future for us, in terms of, like, the doctor told us to take it day by day, and they've been pretty adamant about that. But uh, his condition definitely is every day it's progressing on another level. Uh, he's doing, every day there's a great achievement and an improvement in terms of his mobility and, and his condition. So we're really happy about that. Um, I mean, like I said, it, uh, and what the doctors were saying is that Adonis, I mean, where we were in Quebec City initially, we were, like, where the fight was happening, uh, we were, we were um, at the best hospital for traumatology, so Adonis, what he had was a traumatic, uh, severe brain injury, and with that, every case is different, right? Mm -hmm. And... It was very difficult for me, especially because, like, they told us several times that I wouldn't, like, I couldn't believe it. They told us that he was brain dead in two times, and, and they said that he wouldn't be able to wake up in the coma when he was in a coma, and then they, they said that he would be in a, for that type of severe, you know, traumatic brain severe injury, he wouldn't be able to put, like, the doctors were testing me and telling me that Adonis is not going to be the Adonis that you need before. Now, that I wouldn't believe, and the last few days, his condition, he, he's able to talk. I mean, yesterday was Valentine's Day, we spent it together, and it was like he was talking to me as if things were normal. So every day there is an improvement talking. I mean, the doctor said it's beyond medicine to explain his situation and where he's at today. Um, I mean, it's incredible. You know, like I said, the doctor thought he would be, you know, dead or in a vegetative state. So I need mean, to see him talking, being able to be healthy, and being able to be the champion that he is. He is young in the sense that he, he's young and he's healthy. You know, we're talking about an athlete, somebody who has a great body. He, doesn't drink any alcohol, doesn't do any drugs. So the doctor said because he's such a healthy, he has such a healthy body and he has such a healthy lifestyle, he was able to do that. And, you know, honestly, it just feels like a blessing. Every day I'm encouraged, like the, this condition, every time changing for the better, gives me encouragement that I'm going to get back, you know, our bonus that we knew, our champion. So, it's really, really encouraging to see that and to see from where he came, you know. He came a long way, you know. It, given how he's progressed and he's, you know, he woke mm -hmm. from his coma and he's made a lot of progress every day, as you say, is it safe to assume that he's still on track to make a full recovery, however long that would take? Yeah, actually, um, you know, with these type of you know, brain injuries, they do say it takes time, you know, you have to be patient and um, it takes about a minimum to a year to, to three, you know. And so um, every case is different and because he had such a healthy lifestyle, like I told you from what the doctor said, is that he's going to get better. But um, um, definitely, I mean, I always felt like he was going to do a full recovery I never really I still, um, I never felt I still 
he wouldn't. I don't know something in my heart is telling me that. Uh, and by seeing him, you know, beat the odds every day, it shows that he is, you know, working towards a full recovery, which is amazing to see. So he's doing super well as a day. The medical team is doing a great job. And especially now that we're home, it's very different, you know, I feel, he, I feel as though he feels better and things are, you know, looking like they, looking like things are eventually going to go back to how they were, you know. You know, I, in these last couple of months, uh, I know they must have been very rough on you, especially on Adonis, for your whole family. Uh, day to day, what has these last couple of months been for you personally and, and professionally? Since I know you, I believe you you work as a fashion designer. If I'm not mistaken, what is what has been yeah. like that that day to day like? And also taking care of your of your new daughter. Yeah, well, for me to be honest with you, I had to put aside. You know, I had to put aside what I was doing, you know, my passion. I didn't really have, you know, the passion and, and the drug to be designing anymore. My full focus was really on Adonis's, on Adonis and him getting better because I was so affected by it. You know, just having a newborn baby, the shock, you know, of, you know, the unknown of not knowing what's going to happen. Every day I was going to the hospital, running back from the hospital to going to see my newborn. Luckily, you know, my family came by my side and, you know, I had some help with my baby. But, um, I mean, it was very difficult because three times a day I'm at the hospital because I can't stay there the whole day because we have so many events. But I was going back and forth from the hospital to the hotel I mean, I work as also a part of the Adonis team, so whatever that has, in, like, has nothing to do with boxing, what I do is me and Adonis are actually a team. Like, we're not just, like, partners in life, but we're partners in business. So he tells me, babe, I want to focus on boxing during training camp and my fight. Everything else that has to do with the household or other bills or other things that have to do with his businesses I take care of while he's in training camp or while he's during the fight. So before like before the fight happened I was from the hotel that we were in from before the fight starting, so at the press conference, the wait in and all of that. So end of November, all the way through February I was in Quebec City and with a newborn in a hotel going to the hospital every single day, being there next to Adonis, you know, playing some music, bringing some positive energy. Um, Mauricio came by, you know, and showed us as well some love, and he was really praying for us. And, and it was so difficult for me, you know, being a new mom and, you know, having Adonis in the hospital, trying to juggle that and... I, I can't even begin to explain, like, what experience I went through it was the most difficult challenge I've ever had to endure in my life. It was very emotional every day. Um, and, you know, I, I had to be strong and fight through it for Adonis and our daughter because I didn't believe that, you know, our champion wasn't there, so... I mean, I'm really, really happy. That's why I say with how things are now, because from the beginning to now, uh, there's a huge change. And, you know, he really beat the odds when it comes to the hospital. So my day-to-day -day were, you know, going, going to the hospital pretty much every single day. And uh, Adonis needed me at that time. So really, I feel it's really important to... Uh, to have that support system when you're in a situation like that. And the doctor said also the fact that I'm here and family's here and Adonis is getting that much love really helped his recovery because a lot of people who are in those situations when they don't have any people who are by their side, they don't really, you know, recuperate from, from, from those situations. So 
I feel like Adonis had, you know, a sacred family that he needed to fight for to, to be back. And so it's really a blessing. I'm really, I feel really blessed by God that he's here because I don't know what I would do without, without him and, and our children. So. You know, since the last fight, I mean, we I've seen from, from social media all, all these fans, uh, boxers, people from uh, the WBC, the WBA, kind of go out and yeah. express their their concern and give you so much support. I'm still seeing to this day today that there are that people within the boxing community are still expressing their support. What has that support meant for you and for Adonis during these trying times? Well, I really feel as though Adonis is a people's person. He loves people and he loves the energy. And the, and it's a story that touched all of the boxing world because as soon as this happened, I can't even begin to tell you how my phone and, and Adonis' phone couldn't stop it. All the messages that people... Kept, kept sending us, you know, sending us their love. We're talking about the Mauricio Suleiman, as I mentioned, the president of the WBC. Um, we have, like, you know, a lot of heavyweights, you know, Wilder, Tyson Fury, uh, Bobby Jack, Regis Progray. Uh, and honestly, there's um, many more, you know, Muhammad Ali's wife, everybody that reached out to me also as well and to ensure that I was okay, you know, we just had a newborn and we were so happy, we were so in love and it was a really big shock and I think that it really showed in the how much boxing in 2018, how in boxing, you know, it's such a dangerous sport and how you go into the ring and you don't know if you're going to see your family and you don't know if you're going to make it out after a fight and how these boxers really put their life at risk for their families because because of you know they, they put the risk you know they put the risks of life for us so I mean you know to see all that love and to see I guess um boxers started to realize that, you know, it's a reality, you know, you are really taking a risk. And it touched all of the boxing world, so it was great to see all of the love coming from all around the world to reach out, and not only to ensure that Adonis is okay, but also that I'm okay, because they knew it very well that I just had a, a newborn baby and how difficult that is. It's a story that touched everybody, so I mean, I... That's why I, I thank everybody at several occasions, and uh, and I feel really happy to have had that big support from the boxing world. You know, if I may take you back to the night of that fight against Alexander Vostek, we all saw Adonis get knocked out. That me personally, I thought it was a pretty hard knockout, but I didn't think it would lead to what these last couple of months have been at that moment of the fight when what was going through your mind when you saw Adonis go down like that did you think it would end up with this type of injury or you know especially seeing that Adonis you know at least from the outside it looked like he managed to get back up and still managed to yeah. get back to the locker room well I knew all of a sudden um Whoever was at the fight saw, but as soon as Adonis was on the floor, I knew that he was hurt. So I ran in the ring, ran to his side, and everybody yelled at me and they said, why did you touch him? You know, he can get disqualified because he can get back up. And so I ran towards him in the ring because automatically my body just, the adrenaline just ran towards him in the ring to, to see if he's okay. And so... Uh, then uh, when I went to go see him, the trainer, everybody started to surround him. Everybody tried to help him get up, and he was able to get up. But as we went back to the locker room, I always kept an eye on Adonis because I felt as though he was hurt, you know. He didn't want to show it, but he was hurt. And so when we were in the locker room, actually, I was I was the first person that he told me when he was at the back to 
uh, that his head hurts and that he's so dizzy. And I was the one who made the call um, to our doctor from our hometown in Montreal that was with us to come and check him out because he was he was really feeling not good. And I knew that it was. If Adonis is saying this, I mean, he's not a type of person that whines and that it's very severe, that something is completely wrong. So I, I did have the feeling that he was hurt. I just didn't know to that extent that it could that it could have cost him, him his life. So, yeah, I mean, I knew he was definitely hurt that night. Adonis has been one of the best light heavyweight boxers in the world, and he's proven that time and time again. But he is 41 years old, and boxers at that age, or even athletes you know, in general at that age, are either retired or at the twilight of their careers. Was there any talks of Adonis retiring or thinking about retiring anytime soon uh, maybe before or after the Badu Jack fight, or even before the Alexander Vostick fight, was there any talks of Adonis thinking about calling it quits? Yeah, well, definitely. Um, Adonis is he was he was thinking about um, you know uh, uh, retiring because um, he 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 is a businessman, so he did have several businesses, and he didn't have to continue boxing. But we're talking about somebody who's been successful in the sport and that's been on top and that's been a world champion for a while now. And so um, he was really passionate about the sport, I'll tell you that much. So for him to get into the ring, it was more so a passion and a, and the love for the sport from what he, he's expressed to me. And it was really important for him to get into the ring because boxing is what really essentially saved his life. I mean, boxing has been a huge part of his life. He's been so successful at it um, for many years. So it was, it was pretty familiar to him to get into the ring and to continue fighting. Um, definitely, you know, at the age of 41, he was considering on, you know, you know, eventually, you know, retiring soon and getting back to his, getting into his businesses. But like I said, you know, he's been doing such a good job for so many years and he was so passionate about boxing. And so he really wanted to get into the ring. So at that point, when you, when somebody's so passionate about the sport, I, you know, who's to say that? to tell them to stop even though you know for me it's difficult you know I would love it to see him get into the ring and I didn't really want him to but I mean it's his passion I can't stop him it's his love for the sport and um, and so we didn't think that it would be that much of a uh, I, I didn't think it would be that much of a big risk but yeah you know, CC. obviously we are a very, very, very long way from even having, I guess, that, a kind of discussion about a comeback, if, there, if we ever get to that point at all. But do you, is it safe to assume that even if he makes a full recovery and we see the best possible rehabilitation, that Adonis' days as a boxer are done? To be honest with you, I want him... To be able to say that himself, I do feel like as though he's going to have a full recovery 100%. I really don't doubt that at all. Um, when it comes to boxing, like I said, it's been a part of his life for a long period of time. And so I don't want to say that, you know, his boxing days are over because I don't think so necessarily Adonis is definitely a strong man he's a champion um, he's proved that several times he was leading when it, he was leading the fight and at some point you know uh, you know we really did think that the fight was over when Justice was hitting the ropes and he was going to go down so Adonis did do a tremendous uh, tremendous you know a performance and he was leading you know and the, the card is you look at the numbers, the judges' cards. So, um, he, he is an amazing boxer, and I don't want to speak for himself. I do think that he's definitely going to make a full recovery, and I would want him to <laughs> answer that and see you guys see when he gets better. 
you know, lastly, uh, these last couple of months, I mean, you've seen that Don is make a tremendous effort and trying to make a full recovery and seen his struggles. And you yourself, you've had your own trials having to, you know, support Adonis while also taking care of your <clears throat> newborn child. Uh, what has these last couple of months taught you about yourself and about Adonis? Well, that's a really good, good question. Um, definitely... This has been a lesson for, for, for me and for Adonis, of course. I would say that for, for me, it's taught me definitely patience and taking things day by day because you never know what can happen. Also, too, to be, you know, grateful for life. So for, for me and Adonis, and we've had these discussions, is that, you know, how health, you know, and being healthy is so important. And that in life, you know, anything can happen and you can change at any time. So definitely those were lessons that we, we learned in life. And to, you know, to be resilient, to be strong, and that, you know, love is very important. I do believe that, you know, me and you know, Adonis have a specific connection. We're really strong. I'm always by his side. I'm always with him at the press conference. I'm, I'm his he always wants me to be next to him and so and so it's very important to have each other to have love and that it's just not um, you know the, the, the sport of, of boxing but to have you know family to have that support system that boxing support system to have great people around you and that you know health is not something that you should ever take for granted definitely Cece, I want to thank you so much for talking to me, and I think I speak for the entire boxing community when I say that we are rooting for Adonis. We are elated every time we hear an update about his improvement, and I want to thank you so much for giving me uh, giving time out of your schedule to talk to me, and we are rooting for Adonis to make a full recovery. Best of luck and best wishes to you, your newborn child, your whole family, and to Adonis. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it.